just drain. Yeah. <laughs> Not a flood. <laughs> Here's behind the scenes, yeah. and now we recreate our, our shots of being in the in, wading through the Scottish Highlands. It's just a burst pipe outside the shop. I mean, it is it is fairly deep, to be fair. <laughs> I mean, they're doing a good job of set dressing here. Oh, my window's open! My window's open! No! Oh! That was just in time! <laughs> The roads are going to get thinner, and this is... And this is getting wider. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is massive. Absolutely massive. Yeah. Oh, look at the rapids out there. Ooh, wow. So there's been a lot of rainfall up there. There has been a spectacular amount of rainfall up here over the last five days. And, uh, and we thought, well, what better time to head to the highlands uh, while there is a torrent, a cascade of water heading our way. Thor, Thor is, this is it man, this is the perfect time for Thor to put it through its places. There's actually snow up top, we're not going to be able to get that high. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's go and see what sort of adventure we can have in the adventure machine. The egg sounds good, huh? Does sound cool. Alright, checkpoint, fuel stop, food stop. This is the legendary Green Welly. You can think of this as a sort of, it's basically the last petrol stop for quite a while until you get into like the thick of it. So it's a good place to have. And I recommend stopping here for the pea and ham soup. <laughs> it's really good. I think a grab handle here would be yeah, helpful because so. you sort of instinctively yeah, go there. for it. Yeah, or there maybe. Yeah. We'll have a... Oh, that's my lock. <laughs> Good luck stealing that. <laughs> I swear I could design this out. What's going on? Well, York has bought himself a new. You want that on there, new right? Clamp and holder. Because yeah. if you put it on here in wide mode, you just see the end of there. <laughs> that's annoying. But someone Polar, hasn't tested Polar something. Pro gives you this little trigger yeah. to make it to record which only goes on the right hand side right so you can either not have the trigger ah. which costs x amount or you can have or you can have or you this can have the, this on here what i really want is the trigger on the left hand side and the mic on the right hand side but i can't have the trigger on the left hand side because somebody somewhere didn't think about that we should launch our own equipment <laughs> <laughs> This is predictable or appropriate, but we are on what is otherwise known as the Skyfall Road. So down there is ultimately where the iconic shot of Daniel Craig when he steps out of the DB5 and parks up and looks down the glen, as it were. This is that road. We did come here in the Aston Martin DBS and we thought, you know what? They did use this version Defender in Skyfall. So we thought, why not roll the cliche dice and see if we can create some cool stuff down here, find some off-road patches and generally get Thor in some breathtaking scenery. How was she? You know what, it gives you great views. You get great views because you're, lit you're looking over hedge tops, whereas, you know, I mean, I've been down this road in sports cars and all you can see is hedge. Yeah. In this, you're over the hedge tops and you like, the views are incredible. And because all of the uh, recent snow waters have melting, there's cascades of, I mean, if you look through there, you can just see one cutting through. Yeah. There's cascades of water all over the place. That's not the last word in lap times, this thing. So you kind of slow the world down a bit and you just take in scenery like this. Look at this oh, guy. <laughs> it's like <laughs> end of the world vibes. Yeah. And he's got satellite TV. This is the reason we come to these parts. Check out this place.
What's the plan? Come on, let's fly it in the car because what we found, behold, I mean, this is exactly what we wanted. I mean, it's, you know, it's technically off-road. It's not full send, but I think as a, as a warm-up, as a warm-up for Thor, it's pretty good. So we're going to get the drone up and I persuaded Yorkie to fly it while we're in the car <laughs> because at the top, we don't really know what's up there. You're set. Yorkie! Well, that went well. Let's go and see where Yorkie is with his drone. I found it. Is it in pieces? Yeah. Did you smash it into the trees? Yeah. That's the first time. Not like that. For everything. That is a... <laughs> properly gone. Oh, here. mate. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, no, it's nailed. It's absolutely nailed. Ah. Oh. It's like a... I was trying to get the side shot oh, no. and I backed it into the no, tree. No, no, no. Mate, sorry. Oh no, man. Is the card still there? Yeah, the card's the important bit right now. Look after that. Keep, keep, keep that in there. Oh, oh it's mangled. It looks like a dead crab. On the flip side, it's really nice here. <laughs> yeah, suboptimal, suboptimal situation that. Take you for a tour on the outside. Look how cool this thing looks up here. It just looks right. It just, look at the stance. Look at that thing. A few of the features. That gives you a bit of a context as to the size of the tire and wheel. These are 18 inch wheels and these are to accommodate the AP racing brakes. And this is the massive colossal off-road tire, which we thought we'd keep for the time being because we want to do a spot of this. Uh, AP racing brakes. Let me just give you a shot at those. Um, we actually had those. Might just be able to see them in there, just there. We actually had those sprayed a sort of uh, goldy cognac shade in order to complement the interior. So this here is the hardware. Obviously, one of the iconic design features of an original Defender is that the hinges were outboard, for want of a better word. But JE Motorworks fixes them up with these beautiful billet anodized hardware you can have these customized to uh, complement the overall theme of your car but as a little detail of something that is so iconic from a design point of view uh, from a defender i just thought these were a really nice touch look and it extends everywhere even the vent the vent surrounds here billet anodized the same color as all of the hardware and hinges on the outside of the car even the washer jets look billet washer jets how cool are they Handles too. Yorkie! Yeah. So is that it? Is that is that us out? Terminal. Game over. It's never game over. What do you mean? Oh! The things we do for the shot. Yorkie's got me on the other side of this gorge over here. He's, well, you can just see him running behind those trees there. And there he is. And we're trying to set me up to get in line with Thor against these rocks. It's gonna look cool if we can pull it off. I mean, I've got this little lav mic on here so that we can project the audio back to the camera. But I have no idea what the take sounds like. <laughs> Have you run all this way to show me the take? Was it good? Yeah. Is it good? It's a long way away. What? I need to come here. Why? What for? <laughs> to get some of me? Yeah. It's like that show on a Sunday afternoon. I'm going to walk into it. <laughs> I'm going to walk into it. This is a, okay, so hey, it looks good. You think? Yeah, I think the car's too far. No, it's great. It shows the, it shows the scale of the environment we're at. Okay. I think so. Okay. Hold <laughs> <laughs> on. Look. They have this word called Huyga. I think that's how it's pronounced. All the effort's worth it. It's absolutely freezing up here. 
as far as scenery goes, it's unbelievable. But I was right here just before that subtle drop there. So Yorkie was filming from that point just there. I think it's pretty cool. That's a nice look. It's like a solid billet JE Motorworks cap. It's cool, I like that. Right, this is a 120 liter endurance fuel tank. And it drinks with two straws. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. All right, it's getting dark, it's getting wet. And by the sounds of this pump, it's getting expensive. So I think it's time to call it a day. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. We've got some serious content lined up this year. So when you hit the subscribe button, there's a little bell to the right hand side. If you click that, you'll be the first to know when new content goes live. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Ciao.